I'm going to start by asking, of course, you're playing the Queen. Um, I was just wondering when that Who? was... No, I don't. <laughs> uh, when that was first uh, proposed to you, were you instantly kind of intrigued by this role? I fell in love with the story and the romance um, of the film, and it really kind of reminded me of classic love stories that I grew up watching, like Roman Holiday and To Catch a Thief, and just all those great kinds of classic romance films. And so that's really what I fell in love with. And then as I started to research Elizabeth um, and prepare for the role, I really fell in love with her character and her, her determination and her, her character, her judgment. And was there much kind of footage out there of her and her youth that you were able to kind of study? Or, or did you sort of take certain sensibilities about her demeanor now that you were able to kind of transport into her as a, as a young woman? There were a few um, newsreel clips and speeches that Julian sent to me that I, that were really kind of a great reference point because in them you can see how hard she's trying to to be authoritative and to be this kind of role that um, she's eventually going to grow into. Um, so watching those clips was really a good insight into how much she wanted to please her family and please her her public. Um, and then I read some some really great biographies that, that provided a lot of really great insight. One particularly was Sally Smith's Elizabeth the Queen. And in it, she describes the night out um, that Princess and, and when Princess and Margaret went out on VE night, and she said it was a Cinderella story in reverse. And I really thought that applied so well to our film. It's really what, what it's about. And I mean, was, in regards to kind of finding the, the human being within her, I was wondering, were you able to kind of connect her in a sense that she's in the public eye and she's always, you know, when she's out, sort of, she's sort of put on a front, I suppose, but this was sort of kept connecting with her behind that and just finding out who she, she sort of really is? I, I certainly think I was... I was really impressed because I didn't really realize how much of a machine the PR was behind the royal family. And to kind of learn about the reserve and the restraint um, was almost an inspiration in a time where we give so much to the public as uh, actors and performers. And so that was really interesting to read. Um, but I think I found a lot of different ways into the character at. Uh, you know, a very kind of basic level, and her kind of, n her knowing exactly who she was, her wanting to fulfill the role of the queen as heiress presumptive, uh, was something that I connected to because I've always known that I've wanted to be an actor and be a performer, and I've never had that moment in time where, where you know, a lot of my contemporaries would say, I don't know what I want to do after university, or I don't know what I want to be, or, and I've always known, I've never really had that in common with them, and I really found that similarity in Elizabeth. And I spoke to, uh, to David Yellow about playing Martin Luther King and he was saying that he felt he had an advantage being an Englishman playing such a big kind of American historical figure. He was able to approach it from an outside perspective. I was wondering if you felt that sort of similar coming into this and uh, not as an English, uh, sort of an English woman but actually coming in from the outside. Do you think that it gave you a more detached take on the character? I certainly think that there were advantages to having more of an objective view um, because I wasn't as maybe daunted uh, by the prospect of playing Elizabeth as I think maybe some British actresses would be because it's so it's so close to home. Um, but there were, I think, you know, in, in turn other challenges that I faced um, because I wasn't British, but uh, because I'm not British, but my kind of inspiration and my guiding light throughout this was, was uh, Kate Blanchett who did such an amazing job playing Elizabeth the first and uh, and you know she's Australian so I thought if she can do it I can do it because <laughs> <laughs> this is obviously set across the day where there's such a fantastic spirit and a kind of great atmosphere that's very much alive in this movie uh, was that something that extends to set when you're making a movie of, of, of like this do, do you find that the good atmosphere extends to the shoot and the, the cast and crew I think everybody really believed in the film we were making and in the 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 story that we were telling. Um, everyone thought it was really charming and so to have everyone be so behind a film like that when you're making it is really positive. But we shot four and a half nights, four and a half weeks of nights and we were traveling around shooting six day weeks and the schedule was really quite grueling. Um, and Belle and Jack and I kind of bonded and became this little family because we had the most bizarre working hours. We would wake up at two o'clock in the afternoon, 
then Jack had us all meeting in a park across the street from our apartment and we would all boxing train together as like a little unit. And then we would go to set and shoot all night till six o'clock in the morning and then come home and repeat that. So we were really kind of, it felt almost like we were living outside the world. Yeah. I was wondering as well, I mean, of course, you're in the ninth life of Louis Drax coming up with, uh, with Jamie Dunn and Aaron Paul. I just wondering what that's all about and how your character fits into that story. Mm -hmm. It's uh, The Ninth Life of Louis Drax is a psychological thriller. It's adapted from uh, the book of the same title. Um, and it's about a young woman who has Munchausen syndrome by proxy and is harming her child to get attention. Ah, and of course, indignation and eleven twenty two sixty three as well. It's quite an exciting time for you at the moment. Mm -hmm. I'm really, I'm really happy. I, I've had a nice break, and I'm ready to go back to work. Brilliant. Well, thank you so much for your time thank today. You. Much appreciated. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey.